but there's nothing in this. I'm just trying to look cool. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Jordan from Teasers Books, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I was sent this book by a few bloggers, and they gave me this book as a traveling book, and so basically I read the book, I write all my notes and stickies inside, and then I send it on to another person. So I read the book, and I stickied the crap out of it, and I wrote a bunch of notes, and I'm very, very pleased, and it was so much fun seeing everyone else's comments, too. I'm going to ship it off to Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks, and she is going to read it and do the same thing. I'll leave everyone's blogs who's participated in the traveling book down below if you're interested to see their review and to see where they're from and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna put this down now. I'll Give You the Sun is basically about two twins and they are told on two separate timelines. The first timeline is told by the brother Noah and when he is 13 and the second one is told by the girl Jude when she is about 16 or 17. It starts off all happy-go-lucky with some little family drama mixed in but pretty much all good and they decide that they want to apply for this really professional high school art school in their local city. It goes from there and there's a lot of LGBTQ concepts in it and I highly highly recommend it. Like honestly, I can't tell you much else without spoiling it for you so I I really recommend it. I gave it five out of five stars. I freaking love the book. The writing was fantastic. If you haven't read this book yet and you're considering it, please pick it up. I had it on my shelf for almost a year and I'm so happy I finally got to read it because it was so worth it and I really, really loved it and enjoyed it. If you liked a book like We Were Liars, so like a contemporary that has some romance in it but is also kind of sad and has a lot of family drama and like a lot of burdens on top of the main characters, that is definitely something that I would recommend to give a try because I highly recommend this book. So that's all I have to say without spoiling you guys so if you haven't read the book go read it and then come back and discuss it with me and yeah bye bye peoples please i don't want to spoil you that would really suck okay okay bye okay so <laughs> wow uh, i was not expecting it to go the way it did for sure thinking that Noah was gonna kill himself. 100% knew it was gonna happen and then when it didn't I was just blown out of the water. Like I totally thought it was gonna be that kind of book and it wasn't and I'm actually really really happy about that because I really didn't want to cry. I actually didn't cry reading this book surprisingly because I cry reading every other freaking book that is slightly sad but I didn't. I held back and I'm kind of proud about that. You know, like, it, it makes me feel good. I really, really loved Jude after the three years when she was 16. I thought she was awesome, she was quirky, and I really loved how she just randomly started spewing different diseases. I found that hilarious. Noah, I felt so bad for. Like, I, I he, he's my little baby, and he, he's just, nobody really cared about him. And he got the short end of the stick so many times. He didn't get into his art school. And just imagine if he did, how different he would have been. He would have been completely himself. He would have been so comfortable. He probably would have had a boyfriend that entire time. It's just sad to see that he couldn't be himself because he didn't get into the school that he really wanted to get into and that he had to put on this wall and pretend that he was somebody that he wasn't. I was really worried that Brian wasn't gonna come back. I was worried they were just gonna leave you hanging and you never find out about that plot line because it was literally said on like the last page so I was really worried that she just wasn't gonna say anything. Relationship between Noah and Jude was just incredible. The connection that they had at the start of the book, the one that they reformed at the end was just gorgeous and beautiful. It just made my heart swell because it was just so cute. Oscar was so adorable like one of the like some of the lines that he would say the road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. I loved that quote it was wonderful. I really loved all the self portraits and portraits that Noah would draw or say that he would draw and I just really love them and I wish you could see pictures along with it like if this book had its own sketchbook right next to it I would just fall in love because it's so beautiful I'm just picturing these gorgeous pictures and I'm sure they're amazing and I just want to see someone paint all of them I remember when they described Oscar I wrote it said maybe he looks like an actor I've seen in a movie or some musician he definitely has that sexy musician hair bass player hair and I was like okay now I'm picturing Callum Hood like what are you doing to me because he said he was tan and he wore leather jackets and I'm just like oh Callum the mom was pretty messed up. That whole situation was kind of messed up. I didn't really agree with it. I thought that she didn't handle it well and I thought that the artist didn't handle it well either. I'm sorry I'm forgetting his name. It's been a little bit since I read it. That whole plot line I was just kind of like, oh, okay, so that's what's going on here. And I can't believe that Noah lied for so long about what actually happened and his feelings towards the whole like ending. Of course he's gonna be a wreck because he's the only one that knows the truth. Like to be able to keep a secret like that for so long would just be brutal and I would hate it so so much if that was me. I also like this quote, I think the heart of every living thing on earth is beating in my body. If you're going through hell, keep going, which was really good. I love that quote, it was very inspirational. It's about magic, that's a really good one. Remake the world. Like there's just so many good passages 
passages in this book and I just don't have enough time to sit through them all and try to find my favorite ones but those are some of my favorites because they're all written inside the book at the front and back pages. I also really loved how they traded bits of the world. I found that really adorable like oh I'll give you the sun if you give me the stars. So cute! And there were 13 when they were doing that. I just found that relationship really strong and to have a relationship with your sibling that that's, pa that's that powerful is really intense and really awesome. Yeah so that's basically all I have to say about I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. Let me know what you guys thought down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and I love to discuss other points with you guys and now I can finally send this book out to Alyssa. So Alyssa you'll be getting this soon. Yeah once again you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching and keep on reading guys. Bye!